And News Nation's Ali Bradley uh, is live with us tonight with some exclusive reporting uh, on what happened there and what you're learning about could actually be happening in other places too. Ali? Yeah, hey, Brian. So obviously that chaos kind of heard around the world, right? Everybody has seen that video there, and it's prompted law enforcement to send out an alert regarding officer safety, an alert that we were actually able to exclusively obtain here at News Nation. So here's a look at that memo here where it states, quote, this situation now carries officer safety concerns as migrants have become more aggressive towards law enforcement as they attempt to circumvent the border barriers and enter the U.S., according to law enforcement officers at the scene. Now, all of this, of course, coming after that incident that was caught on camera by the New York Post at the border in El Paso. Again, we saw several adult males tearing down that razor wire that was set up under Operation Lone Star by the state of Texas. And those individuals just rushed right past Texas National Guard. Now, they proceeded towards a section of the border wall, but they were obstructed from progressing any further. Now, in the aftermath of that video, what we can tell you here is that nine migrants have been charged by Texas authorities for their involvement. Charges include inciting a riot and assault on guard members. One man who is a Honduran national, he's actually facing a third degree felony for assaulting a public servant. Frustration among some migrants reportedly escalated into a stampede when they were turned back to Mexico, and that's really what caused all of that chaos there. All of the migrants were taken into Border Patrol custody. Texas authorities are reviewing video footage to identify any additional suspects for charging. They do expect more charges to come forward here. Now, we know that hundreds of Texas National Guard soldiers have just been deployed under uh, Governor Greg Abbott. They've been specially trained for border operations. They were deployed to El Paso after this chaos unfolded. Approximately 200 members of the Texas Tactical Border Force arrived on two different planes. Now, I'm told, Brian, that these are the same quick reaction force guard members that were deployed at the end of Title 42 in Brownsville. You remember when we saw all those guards members? These are the same guys. They're over in El Paso right now. And it's interesting here, too, in this memo, Brian, it actually says that they have some intel where the migrants are being told that they will face no consequences for escalating their violent tactics and trying to breach those barriers. And they say to disregard law enforcement altogether. So that is what is uh, being alerted to law enforcement. Of course, they have their guard up down there. I did reach out to Governor Abbott for comment here to figure out what's going on, to figure out just how much they're doubling down here, Brian. But I have not yet heard back. Yeah, it seems like they come thinking they can just walk right in. Uh, Ali Bradley, thank you so much for. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.